like this. He said, when you want to destroy a community, when you want to destroy a people, you destroy the nature of their romantic love. So we're talking about the love between a man and a woman. You destroy their romantic love. He said, destroy their ability to love one another in a healthy sort of way. When you see and think about the problems we have as a people, as individuals and loving each other romantically, you must recognize in good part that those problems have been set up by a political social system. He says the love we have for one another is the greatest threat to the people who rule, who rule over us. I say. So he's saying that there are political and social systems that are influencing how we relate to each other. So what are these political and social systems that he's talking about? Well, many of us are aware of or probably were victims of mass incarceration or had family members that are victims of mass incarceration. Mass incarceration is one of these political systems that are breaking up the black families. You have a piece of crap, 10 years, you know? And this is what's going on, so they're destroying the black family. I had family members and friends who are Section 8, they receive government, um, they're involved in government subsidy programs. And I was told by uh, a few of my friends that um, they said, I can't have a man in the house with me. I said, well, why? I'm gonna lose my benefits. I can't tell them that I wanna get married. I'm gonna lose my benefits. So they don't even want the man in the household. Then a lot of women say, well, and then if you do have a man in the household, they cut your benefits, all right? So a lot of sisters don't even want men in the household with them because they are afraid of losing their benefits. So government subsi um, subsidy programs contribute to the breakup of the black family. It keeps us separated because they don't want the men in the house. Let's talk about the media. I want to talk about this show first because I know everybody's familiar with Empire. People rush home on Wednesday night. I got to watch Empire. I got to watch Empire. I'm not going to lie. I watch it sometimes just to see what's going on. But look, Empire. When you look at the media, like Empire, this show, no one has a healthy relationship. There are no healthy relationships when I look at this show. So for example, Taraji plays a character um, by the name of Cookie. And I think Cookie was incarcerated and she came out of prison and she didn't have a good relationship with her sons. Then you have Hakeem over here, he's a rapper, and he was dating some Filipino girl, Filipino girl, and then you have Terrence, his mother was a, uh, was bipolar or something. He didn't have a good relationship with his mother. Then you have the one son that married to a white girl. I think she was murdered in one of the episodes. And then you have the gay son uh, who's dating guys. So I say all that to say you don't see a, a, a images of healthy male and female relations. When we listen to the music, oh, and this is, look, this is Scandal. She's the mistress of a European guy. Then you have, um, What's the other movie? How to, Mur How to Get Away with Murder. Um, I believe that she was dating a white guy in there, but you don't see images of, of healthy male-female relations. And I tell people all the time, you can talk about Bill Cosby if you want to talk about him, but the Cosby Show projected positive images of yes. the black family into the national consciousness, all right? So then you had the media. All these songs we listening to, the rap songs, Lil Wayne and Future and who else? Young Thug and all of them. And all they do is slander women. They slander women. You don't need that B, you don't need, I mean, all of that. You don't need that, you don't need her. Then you got the other women, Beyonce and all, they had come out with music. I'm independent, I don't need a man. I mean, we really gotta listen to this stuff now. This stuff is really poisoning us and, and, and um, influencing how we react to each other, all right? Because you think that when you're listening to the song, you just like the beat, but what you don't understand is that ideas are being implanted in your mind and they germinate and manifest themselves, all right? So you gotta be careful of what you put into your psyche. I tell my kids all the time, be mindful of what you put in your diet. And I say, diet is just not food. Diet is anything that you experience with your five senses. So be mindful of what you see. Be mindful of what you hear. Be mindful of what you touch, feel, taste. You have to be mindful of these things. Organized religions, and I'm going to get into that. I believe that organized religions, and I'm, 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 I'm not here to offend any of my Christian or Muslim brothers and sisters, but it is my, in my research, I see that, I feel that organized religions also contribute to adversely affecting male-female relations. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. Okay, so this is a diagram that explains the ecology 
of human development, okay? These are systems. I'm going to break down each of these systems. There are systems. We call them socialization systems. So a socialization system is a system that teaches you habits. So you're taught who to love, 